Hi, and welcome to a short demo of WebSockets in Milestone 2 of GlassFish 3.1. If you're looking for a stable product, please consider using the GlassFish Comet APIs provided by the underlying Grizzly framework and available starting with GlassFish v2. WebSockets provide bidirectional, full duplex communication channels over a single TCP socket. Its protocol is being standardized by the IETF and uses character delimited data frames. While it's quite different from HTTP, many consider WebSockets as the successor to current Comet or Ajax push technologies. So note that it's still early days for uh, browser support. So what we have here is an application that uh, simulates a chat room with sockets uh, to which we'll be pushing and broadcasting the messages, which could, which could be either uh, login messages, which will not be broadcasted as plain messages, but as login messages. Uh, you see that we deal with data frames and we can get the payload for a given frame. Um, so if it's not a login, it's probably a broadcast. And in this case, we broadcast the data to every WebSocket we have uh, in the application. So sending this goes through the chat WebSocket, which is really just a wrapper around a given user um, that has a link to a chat application. We will be escaping the data that's being sent there. This is what the uh, two JSONP method uh, does by calling the escape uh, string method. And the final part of the puzzle is a servlet, which in its initialization phase, that's all we need the servlet for, will register the socket engine, the web socket engine. So now that we have this, we will start uh, GlassFish in verbose mode, so uh, we see what's going on. Once GlassFish has uh, started, we will uh, make sure that WebSockets is enabled. So what we do here is a get on uh, the HTTP uh, properties of that listener. And what we're interested in here is the WebSockets support enable equals true, very similar to the Comet version way of doing things. So bin a sysadmin deploy, and this is the Grizzly WebSocket chat web application we have uh, deployed. So let's try to use this with a browser, which is a Chromium version, so a development version of Chrome 6.0. So this is one browser, one window, and we have a second window simulating a second uh, user. So this is your typical chat application where Sparky logs in and so does Duke. You see Duke joining the chat and sending messages which everyone connected to that chat room will be able to see. And Sparky replies and Duke can see the message. So if we look at the log, we can see uh, the various messages coming, things like login Sparky, which is the frame we've received. And you've seen in the code how easy it is to get to the payload. And broadcasting that message, logging from Duke, and messages from Duke. So there you are. This is a small uh, web uh, WebSockets um, sample. Uh, note that it's still early days. Feedback is, is quite welcome. And there are also uh, client-side APIs in uh, Grizzly to deal with uh, WebSockets as well. Thanks.